for my party on there. Uh, okay, questions for Brandon? We'll go ahead and start. Shannon, do you have anything for Brandon? Yeah, hi, Brandon. Um, could you describe just, did, did it feel like it was tough to get into a rhythm tonight? How would you assess how things go and kind of how it, how it felt as it went along? Um, I mean, I don't know if it was tough to get into a rhythm, but I mean, obviously we didn't execute on offense. Um, uh, we had a lot of, a lot of errors, um, you know, and we shot ourselves in the foot with not converting on fourth down and, uh, penalties as well. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, you know, we have a lot of work to do to go back and look at, um, so. You know, moving forward, we just got to keep our head up. Um, you know, Coach Levy told us, you know, it's only one loss in the column. So, you know, thank the football guys that we have eight more games left to go. So we got to keep our heads up. And what was it like just to play in such an unusual atmosphere? Usually this place is packed and loud with real fans and real cheers. And what was, what was it like to be out there in this environment? I mean, it was just quiet. <laughs> I mean... Obviously, no fans. There's no noise. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you're still playing football. So, I mean, it doesn't really change much. Okay, Scott Ritchie, you're up. We have we only have about four minutes. So, Scott Ritchie, go ahead. Yes, Brandon, you you targeted Josh several times early in the game. Just did you feel like maybe you were able to get more guys involved there a little bit in the, I guess, in the second half? And did you feel you know, the offense? worked a little better that way? I mean, I was just thrown to what well, my reads took me. Um, and I don't I don't drop back and just look for one guy. So, I mean, um, I mean, the guys that I, that I found in the second half are the guys that got open. So. Follow up, Scott? Um, Jeremy, you're up, go ahead. And Gavin, you're on deck. You talked a little bit about this, but you guys had high expectations as an offense coming into this game. How do you regain that confidence, or what are the things you think you need to work on the most? Um, things you got to work on the most, I would say, you know, just executing better. Um, you know, some of that's on me. Um, some of that's on the line up front, but, you know, we, we work as a unit. So um, I think the biggest thing going forward is, you know, like I said earlier, we just got to keep our heads up, keep working, keep, you know, trusting the system um, that the coaches will get it right. Um, they'll coach us up and, you know, it's on us to go out there and execute. What's it like to be a part of like a quarterback rotation and getting kind of subbed out? What's that like for you? Um, you know, I don't have much comment on it, but, you know, it's it's at the, the coach's discretion. They do what they feel like they have to do. Um, you know, personally, um, you know, it's it's tough sometimes to get into a rhythm. You know, you just get thrown in there on fourth and two and you haven't been in the whole drive. I mean, that's tough, but, you know, you got to do what the coaches expect um, and do what they want. So, you know, I was just I was just going with the flow. Okay, Gavin, you're up and enjoy Wagner. Hey, Brandon, um, do you see anything that you could build on out there or are you kind of just – scrapping this one and, and moving on uh there's always a lot that you can learn from from a game um you know wisconsin did you got to give them credit when credit is due um you know the game plan is very well um they did a lot of things great on defense they, they played hard up front um you know we made you know some contested catches uh high tower and um, Mike out of the backfield make make good back shoulder catches. Um, but I, I know just like I said, moving forward, we just got to keep our heads up. Um, you know, take this game as a crumb, but you know, look at it as a learning opportunity. Thanks. Okay, Joey, go ahead, and then we'll do one quick one with uh, uh, Matt Stevens, and then I'll have to wrap it up. Go ahead, Joey. Hey, Brandon, you guys seem pretty confident coming up here. I guess what's your level of surprise that the offense you know never really got its wheels going today? Yeah, again, it comes down to converting on uh, fourth and third down. For us, we just, I mean, we've got to stay ahead of the chains. We've got to move the chains. Um, if you look at the time of possession, I mean, they killed us. I mean, it was bad. 
Um, so, you know, I mean, we just got to keep, we got to focus on moving the chains, getting the first downs, executing, you know, again, completing the football, all those little things. Thanks, Brandon. Okay, uh, Matt Stevens, final question. Go ahead. Quickly, Brandon, I want to clarify. Were you informed that there was some sort of plan to play Isaiah tonight in some sort of package deal, or, or did that catch you off guard? Um, the amount that he was in caught me a little bit off guard. Um, coming into the game, it was only supposed to be like three or four plays. But, you know, again, like I said, you got to do what the coaches want, and, you know, roll with the punches. Thanks, Brandon. That's all I had. Okay, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, Monday will be our next press conference. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Thank you. Thanks.